Welcome back, folks, to more Deponia. We still need to get our revitalizing liquid and our energy-rich water, which uh, supposedly is the blood of a bull and a car battery or something like that. There was a truck that we saw earlier. But we need to get inside. Ouch! Damn it! That's hot! Well, I think that's all. Should be enough. And Tony keeps complaining that I don't do enough housework. I don't like the direction this is taking at all. Is this really necessary? Oh. The seats are covered in tasteless pink leatherette. A puppet is pirouetting in the corner, and on the driver's sign it says, Sugar Puff. <laughs> Stupid name. While we're here, let's mess with this bull. You have to be age six or... Oh. Ah! Ah-ha! Uh -huh. Brilliant idea, Rufus! What could a lonesome bull crave more than a well-chilled glass of Nats Piss? Okay, I'll use the cow. Main thing is that it worked. You have to be age 12 or older to... Oh, that's... The bull's... You have... Oh, well, that's bad. The bull's spirits really need to be pumping before I ride it. Toro! Hey, I said Toro! What, what good is it being the best of matadors if the bull isn't even looking? Aw, does that upset you? Well, <laughs> an accomplished matador like me knows how to bring the blood of a bull to a boil. Or whatever liquid it is that's pumping through those tubes. Draw blood from an enraged bull? <laughs> Child's play. What? <laughs> Oh, oh. Bull's blood. Check. Check. All right. Got the bull's blood. Let's see if we can get the keys for Sugar Puff. Let's go talk to the key master. Hello again. Hey, uh, um, uh... Rufus? Exact. About my key again. Again? What was your name? Sugar Puff. Sugar Puff? Hmm. Maybe I found your key, Sugar Puff. But I need to be sure it really belongs to you. What's your favorite color? Pink. Pink, you say? That sounds about right. And, uh, do you have a special hobby? I, uh, love the ballet. <laughs> Bullseye! Then this must be your key. This must be your lucky day, Sugar Puff. Yeah, I'm so happy I could just explode. Really? I might have a one-time job for you down in the mine.
Oh, I can't remove it. But how do I get access to the power that's harbored within them? Drill a damn hole. I want the battery acid. Oh, I can't remove it. But how do I get access? Ah, ow. <laughs> yeah, ow. Ha-ha! I've siphoned the acid without injuring myself. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Extra rich water and reviving bull's blood. Exactly what good coffee water needs. Cool. I already have the special water at least. Alright, we got the ingredients. Let's make some espresso. So, I have the powder already. Good. So, I have the powder already. Into the tank you go. Well, that's it. I found all the ingredients. Wonderful! I can't even tell you how excited I am to see what happens next. Y but I thought we were making espresso. Yes, you are right. This is an august moment, my friend. We shouldn't spoil it by worrying about the pressure within the nuclear core structure. Pressure within the nuclear core structure? Hear me, gods of our forefathers! Using just the most refined ingredients and the highest possible compression, we beseech thee, open the gates to the Espresso-verse! Holy smoke! More pressure! More pressure! Okay, uh, okay. No, being dead feels completely different. Ugh. As you know, I have gazed deep into death's eyes more than once in my life. Oh, now that you mention it, that reminds me. Is Tony still wearing those contact lenses? Shh! Something's happening. I think this brew is going to do the job. Alright, let's see if we can get Miss Gold to wake up. I suggest not to move her in this condition. What kind of condition is she in? I still don't understand. I mean... Is she dead? No, no. Her body is alive and well. It's her consciousness. It's inactive. So, she's asleep? Well, it's a bit more complicated than that. I think it's related to this implant. It's broken. A consciousness implant? Isn't there a switch or something? A fuse? Maybe the contacts are corroded. That's what always happens with my intercom. I already tried everything, but this is Elysian technology. I have no idea how it's being used. I don't even have the appropriate screwdriver. So, uh, when can I finally take her home? She needs to wake up first. Okay, okay, I see. This situation needs to be resolved through a government decision. Let's do it like this. If you manage to wake her up, you can have her. And what happens if I wake her up? Rufus! You're not even supposed to be here. But I have a plan. Oh. 
I've heard about your plans. You never think things through. Everything you do ends in chaos, and most likely with an explosion. <laughs> we'll see about that. I warn you, stay away from the girl. Yeah, blow me, you old goat. What's that stinging smell? That's medicine. Says who? Says I. And who's the doctor here? <laughs> you tell me. Let's say it together. Me. me. It's a draw. Best out of three. You. 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 Ha! I win. Oh, crap. What's that supposed to- That's medicine. And who- you A no fire sign there. I think we're gonna say yes, fire. Whoops! What's that funny smell? Ah! Fire! The town hall's on fire! Fire control mode activated. Firefighter Gizmo at your service. Where is the fire? Over there! The chamber's on fire! Good lord! Don't worry, your fire will be extinguished in no time. <laughs> I can't try to gizmo. Punk. Don't even think about it, Rufus. Keep your hands off the Elysian, Rufus. But this situation calls for a funnel right there. What? No! What makes you think that? You should be glad that Inspector Gizmo's not around. I'll have to stick the funnel into somewhere first. Don't even think about it, Rufus. It's mine now. Keep your hands off the Elysian, Rufus. But this situation calls for a funnel right there. What? No! What makes you think that? Oh, all right. But hey, one day you'll beg for a funnel down your throat, and then I'm expecting an apology. Finally, I was getting worried I'd have to camp in the cupboard forever. Whoa! Where was I? Ah, yes. Medical mode activated. Dr. Gizmo at your service. How's the patient? I'd say her condition hasn't changed. Leave the diagnosis to the doctor, will you? Now, just where is... My stethoscope, it's gone! Thieves! Crime in progress! Police mode activated. Officer Gizmo at your service. Officer no one leaves bag. the crime scene. You're not untouchable, Lotech. Don't you ever forget that. That's enough. I think you're done. Uh, come on, Gizmo. You have more important things to do. Don't tell me how to do my work. Or are you just trying to divert my attention from your guilt? What? That's simply... Aha! Here is the missing clue. The last piece that completes the puzzle. The mystery of the thieving mare has finally been solved. Thieving mare? How dare you! Put up your hands, Lotek. I have no intention of lifting my hands. You better do what I say. I don't want to. You don't have any choice. I don't? Well, you're fired. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're fired. But I arrested you first. So what? You're fired anyway. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're fired. But I arrested you first. So what? You're fired anyway. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're fired. Uh -huh. 
I... What... Well... How was that? Me. It was me. <laughs> nice. Are you all right? Whew. Oh, oh. What happened? You woke the stranger, the Elysian girl, and then you got knocked out. Goal? Where is she? How is she? She's still a bit confused. I think her implant was seriously damaged by the fall. She is conscious now, but she's just talking gibberish. Can I talk to her? Of course. She's lying over there. I took her into medical custody. Just don't stress her out too much. First and foremost, she needs rest now. No problem. Thanks, Doctor. Goal? It's me, your savior. Toodle, toodle, toodle. Pups? No, it's Rufus. Ru yes. Pups? You can give me any name you like, babe. Say, did it hurt a lot when you fell from the sky? <laughs> uh... Oh, come on, that was funny. Because, I mean, you you really fell from the sky, you know, like an angel. <laughs> Just like in the in the pickup line. <laughs> d d d you get it? Ah, uh, flash dash kazash? <laughs> Savvy mommy, good old granny. Grumblump? Puzzle false. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> <laughs> Munch Grunch? Attack a tick tock! Oh! Knock knock. Hello? Anyone home? Home, 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 home. I'll take that as a yes with limitations. Get a hold of yourself. Soup, 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 Guadeloupe? Huh. She's attractive and fun to talk to. Heck, this is totally useless. That woman is completely nuts. Bonka, swonka, kazonkas. Oh, what did I expect anyway? That she would take me to Elysium? Elysium. We need to go back to Elysium. What did you just say? Horrible things. The Organon betrayed us. Quick, we need to go back. To Elysium, yes, yes. You, you, you remember what happened? Is that you, Cletus? What? No, I'm not. My, my name is Rufus. I saved you. Rufus? I don't understand. Where am I? You, you had a pretty bad fall. The doctor says that you're hallucinating. That's confusing, but... <sighs> I need to get to Cletus. Can you take me to him? Who is Cletus? My fiancé. Uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe you are safer down here. After all, you... He'll reward you generously. Oh, that, uh, uh, generously, you say? Try to contact Cletus. He will search for me. Yeah, yeah. How generous exactly is generous? Maybe you can... Reach him using a radio. He's suddenly trying to find me. Do you really think that's a good idea? I mean, for a fiancé, he didn't really make much of an effort to protect you. Rufus, please. You're the only one I can trust. Yeah, that sounds about right. I really am the only one you can trust. The only one. And you already proved that you're of noble character. Mm-hmm. The burden of the hero. But let's get back to the expression generous. Rufus, please, contact Cletus. I would be so very thankful. So very, very thankful. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know if I can do that. Can spam one tomo polo lollipop? Peekaboo. But... Bootam swadikosu loka shootipop. Oh. The burden of the hero. Why do I always have to be so infinitely generous?
We need a radio. Hello, Lottie. You again? <clears throat> you, you again? Do you know where I can make a radio call? You should talk to the operator. You'll find him at the post office. But the post office is closed. Well, I guess in that case, my suggestion was a bit of a letdown, wasn't it? I'll skedaddle. Don't let the door hit you. Stop right there! The post o <coughs> The post office is closed until further notice. Until when? Until the sign says, then it's open! But there's no clock there. Very observant. And now... Get away from that door! The post office will be open o'clock? O'clock? What o'clock? There's something missing here. Power is there. Silent steps. The perpetrator was Rufus. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Time for a different maneuver. Um, I think the post office is open. Yeah, right! You didn't expect that now, did ya? <laughs> no. No, right? <laughs> uh, hi. Please state your business. Where can I make a radio call? Outgoing radio calls can be made from every registered private radio device. Where would I find one of these registered private devices? There is no radio device registered for long distance calls. What's that supposed to mean? It has to be possible to make outgoing calls somehow. Not while using a private radio device. Are there other radio devices registered? There are three registered devices for local calls. One is situated in the mayor's office, another at the front desk counter in the town hall. The communication system of the emergency station is the third one. But it's only possible to make internal calls from there? Well, that's perfect. Are there absolutely no long distance devices? There are no long distance devices except the listening post of the post office and the reserve system in the vault. Well, so there are two of them after all. Both devices are not cleared for public use. Damn. May I enter the vault? Over the corroded remains of my wrecked body. <laughs> I think I can arrange that. Dude, you're no fun at all. I mean, don't you ever have some fun on your job? Define fun. Oh man, you're hopeless. I'm talking about F-U-N. Like when someone falls into an open sewer right in front of your eyes. Or accidentally sets fire to his own foot. Destruction is fun. Yes, as long as it's not happening to you. I like popping the bubbles in bubble wrap. Is that fun, too? Whoa, 
if you're into that kind of thing. Unfortunately, I only ever need bubble wrap to pad packages that contain smaller objects which have accidentally been put into boxes of postage level 3, and that very rarely ever happens. But when it happens, <laughs> I guess it's party all around, right? <laughs> What's that scratching noise? Is that coming from behind the hatch? Yes, it's the Postal Service replacement cat scratches you catch. The scratching from behind the hatch matches that of Postal Service replacement cats exactly? It's the unlatched Postal Service replacement cat's hatch. Wow. Postal Service replacement cats. <laughs> That's cute and quite useful. I have to replace the regular Postal Service cats when they catch dirt. But don't you have to clean the unlatched Postal Service replacement cats hatch? I do have to clean the unlatched Postal Service replacement cats hatch, but there's an unmatched catch. So what's the unmatched catch with the unlatched Postal Service replacement cats hatch? I have to dispatch the batch of Postal Service replacement cats from the unlatched Postal Service replacement cats hatch to a latched Postal Service replacement catch backup hatch. Holy moly. See you later. If I nudge it, it starts nodding. I want that feature for Tony. What's this? Neither mic nor headphones. Oh, must I do everything myself? So a cat licks the stamps? Well, I hope it knows what it's doing. A bit too slow or a bit too fast and whoops-a-daisy, the package gets the wrong postage. A cat in a hamster wheel. Aww, cute and strange. Meow. Error, error. All right, suit yourself. Hey, Yoo-Hoo, hello. Hmm, yeah, what's up? I have to make an urgent call. Uh-huh, and what, pray tell, has that got to do with me? Well, you're the one with the radio. Keep your hands off. This device is for postal service personnel only. You can transmit till you've got foam coming out of your ears if you want to, but you're not using this device, capiche? Well, can I at least borrow your headphones? Are you mad? I need those for work. Nice pigeons. Our messenger pigeons? Yeah, those are magnificent creatures, aren't they? <laughs> if you like contagious diseases. Did you know they take their bearings from the planet's magnetic field? Really? How do you know? I once tied strong electromagnets around their necks. The fools immediately flew the wrong way. Is that so? <laughs> yeah, straight towards this rusty mountain of metal over there. <laughs> You're not too busy up here, are you? Where can I make my call from? Is it local? <clears throat> no, long distance. Huh, good luck with that. Besides this device, there's only one reserve system in the vault of the post office. Okay, I'll use the backup system then. You want to break into the vault? I'm beginning to believe what they say about you. You're suffering from a deluded sense of self-importance. What do you mean, suffering? Who's suffering? All right, everyone else is suffering from your deluded sense of self-importance. Heh, <laughs> that's more like it. How's work? Everything's calm here, except for those strange radio calls from this Cletus or something. I haven't had any work at all this Cletus. morning. Cletus? Cletus? That was a call from me. I have to talk to him at once. No chance, Bubba. The radio station is meant for postal services personnel only. You shouldn't even be up here. I'll be going then. You do that. You shouldn't be here anyway. 
I totally agree. Different pigeons, three different sizes. One stamp, two stamp, three stamp. Got her window open. Work. Yeah, right. She's just sitting there twiddling her thumbs. I can do that too. She make us a tranquilizer dart. I'm as deadly as a poison dart frog, but much cooler. A poison dart, um... Hmm, the funnel would make an excellent blowpipe. <laughs> Indeed. Now I just need something to shoot it at. <laughs> what the... a dart? A little longer. And... Ah. Oh, what am I getting mad at anyway? Strike! <laughs> hey, Tony, I'll just grab a couple of these vouchers, okay? As a while we're at it, can you do the dishes this week? <laughs> I like Tony much better this way. <laughs> I was beginning to fear that her body had adapted to tranquilizers. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, I used your family pictures to insulate a weather balloon. Just, uh, just, just a moment. What? Ah. Did you mention? Weather balloons? No, 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 I said uh, vouchers. Will, will you look at those, those nifty vouchers? <laughs> Keep your hands off. I've counted them. I've got these gift vouchers from Tony's shop. Gift vouchers verified. One light lead weight from storeroom one. Supply your address now. Where, where, where to? I mean, what? I, I, I don't know. That's a good question. Address verified. What? Dispatch initiated. <laughs> Shocking little kitty cats. Postage being scanned. Postage correct. One light package for dispatch. Pigeon from small pigeon hole is being dispatched.
a gadget that manipulates the planet's magnetic field. Well, this could have been my idea. A gadget that manipulates the planet. Well, this could have been my idea. Could have been. Should have been, but wasn't. Small pigeon is back already. Well, the pigeons get their bearings from the planet's magnetic field, right? So let's see what happens if I start fiddling with this a bit. <laughs> I love to play God. Two of the buttons. Grrr. I'm gonna have to tell you this for a while. Interesting. Grrr. Oh, now it's let me press the bottom button. I'll leave it like this for now. Maybe this helps. I'll leave it like this for now. Maybe this helps. Looks like the little pigeon now is in the large hole. <laughs> right. <laughs> it could really speed it up. Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. Hey, hey, hey. the coffee makes it work faster. <laughs> I should apply for a job as producer for a video game developer. Got that cat all cranked out now. <laughs> and let's slow down the treadmill cat, the conveyor belt cat with some kitty tranquilizer. <laughs> right. It should shift back again. Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> I like how it's all relaxed now. Ya 
I've got these gift vouchers from Tony's shop. Gift vouchers verified. One light lead weight from storeroom one. Supply your address now. Where, where, where to? I mean, what? I, I, I don't know. That's a good question. Address verified. What? Dispatch initiated. That <laughs> cat's like whatever. Postage being scanned. Error, error. Postage paid is three times as much as it should be. Packages of postage level three are not suitable for the transport of small goods. Padding with bubble wrap initiated. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, 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 yeah. One heavy package is being dispatched. Pigeon from large pigeonhole is being dispatched. That's what you think. <laughs> Pigeon didn't make it very far. <clears throat> wrong shall I leave you alone pop 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 oh 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 yeah uh whatever you say oh well now he's finally blown his last fuse which was to be expected <laughs> postman's having a good old time on that plastic wrap Pop, pop, pop. Oh, yeah. Now we can get back. Someone has pierced some holes into the sheet and put numbers on them. Oof, the mailbox must have been really bored. Folks, so that about wraps it up for this episode. We'll see you next time with some more Deponia.